Have you ever wondered why elephants are so enormous? What if I told you their size has a lot to do with their unique role in the ecosystem? Intriguing, isn't it? We begin our journey with the basics. Elephants, majestic creatures of the wild, belong to the family Elephantidae and the order Proboscidea. Two species of elephants exist today, the African elephant known as Loxodonta and the Asian elephant known as Elephas maximus. Their differences lie not just in their geographical locations, but also in their physical characteristics. African elephants sport larger ears and concave backs, while their Asian counterparts have smaller rounded ears and convex or level backs. Now, try to imagine their diet. An elephant's meal is plant-based, making them herbivores. They feast on grasses, tree foliage, bark, twigs, and other vegetation. In a single day, an adult elephant can consume up to 300 pounds of food. That's about the weight of two average human adults. Their feeding habits are closely linked to their habitat. Elephants inhabit various environments, savannas, forests, deserts, and marshes. They are crucial to maintaining the biodiversity of these ecosystems. As they feed and move around, they create clearings, promoting the growth of diverse plant life. Unfortunately, the elephant population has been dwindling over the years. In the early 20th century, there were a few million African elephants and about 100,000 Asian elephants. Today we estimate that only about 400,000 African elephants and 40,000 Asian elephants remain in the wild. Poaching and loss of habitat are among the main threats that elephants face. These issues highlight the importance of conservation efforts to ensure the survival of these gentle giants. Let me share with you a lesser known fact about elephants. They are among the few animals that can recognize themselves in a mirror, indicating a level of self-awareness usually associated with higher intelligence. They also display a range of complex social behaviors including mourning their dead, which is rare in the animal kingdom. Our journey through the life of elephants wouldn't be complete without understanding their social structure. Elephants are profoundly social animals with a complex hierarchy. They live in matriarchal societies, where the matriarch, usually the oldest and largest female, leads the herd. She decides where the group will go, when they will rest, and is also responsible for teaching younger members essential survival skills. On the other hand, male elephants, known as bulls, prefer a more solitary life. They either live alone or form small groups with other males, only joining the female-led herds during the mating season. This social structure and hierarchy is crucial for their survival in the wild, providing safety, knowledge transfer, and companionship. After understanding the social structure of elephants, it's fascinating to see their reproductive process. Elephants have one of the longest gestation periods in the animal kingdom. Remarkably, female elephants carry their babies for approximately 22 months, almost two years. That's nearly double the duration of a human pregnancy. During this lengthy gestation period, the mother elephant nurtures her unborn calf, preparing it for life in the wild. After birth, the newborn elephant, known as a calf, shows an astonishing ability to stand and walk shortly after birth, a testament to its mother's care and the wonders of nature. Female elephants usually give birth to one calf every two, four years, allowing adequate time for the calf to grow and learn the essential survival skills before the arrival of a new sibling. This long gestation period is necessary for the development of the calf, ensuring it is strong enough to survive and thrive in its habitat. This is yet another aspect of the elephant's life that showcases its uniqueness and adaptability. Elephants are not only physically impressive, but they also have a unique way of communicating and bonding with each other. Their communication methods, like their size and intelligence, are nothing short of extraordinary. Elephants use a variety of sounds, body movements, and touch to express their feelings and intentions to each other. They can produce a wide range of sounds from loud trumpets when they are excited or alarmed, to low-frequency rumbles that can travel over long distances and are used for long-range communication. But it doesn't stop at sounds. Touch, especially with the trunk, is an important form of communication among elephants. They use their trunks to greet each other, comfort distressed members, and even to play. These gentle giants use touch as a way to strengthen their social bonds and express empathy, showcasing a level of emotional intelligence that is rarely seen in the animal kingdom. This complex communication system plays a crucial role in their social structure, further cementing their bonds and ensuring the strength and survival of the herd. So, the next time you see an elephant extending its trunk, remember, it's not just a simple gesture, it's a testament to their intricate social bonds and emotional intelligence. In conclusion, 
Elephants are much more than just gigantic creatures. They are fascinating beings with complex social hierarchies and distinct behaviors that set them apart. Their enormous size, diverse diet, intricate social structures, lengthy gestation periods, and unique communication methods all underscore their unique position in the natural world. Despite their importance, they are, unfortunately, under severe threat from destructive activities like poaching and habitat degradation. This predicament necessitates urgent and concerted conservation efforts to ensure their survival. So, when you an elephant next time, bear in mind, you're viewing a creature that is significantly more than just its immense size.